back home again this week versus Winona. This has got to be a big game to get back after what was a tough one last week. Yeah, we're always excited to get home. We play extremely well. Winona, you know, is one of the better teams year in and year out. So the opportunity to get a win, to beat Winona, that's what it's all about this weekend. How did you get the guys motivated for this week after last week, which was a real tough, real good game for you guys? Well, I think the good news of last week was we took a 10th ranked team at the time, now they're 8th. We took them into a play away from, from winning on the road, and that's the positive. And I think the positive is we should be able to do the same the rest of the year. If we don't compete with that desire and that effort, then we're not playing hard. And the guys are disappointed they didn't win the game. They uh, they know you know what it takes to play against a good team now, and they uh, there's really with Winona there's really not an issue to get excited and ready to go. How big is the Winona game each year for you guys? It's just a, a measuring stick on where the program's at. Like last weekend, our goal is to play well against a, a good program, a playoff team on the road. We did that, and now we've got to win those games at home. We've got to make this a, a deal where we don't lose those games at home. We've got some good teams here for a, a good home schedule for the fans, but you know, we've got to just realize we've got to win those big home games. Uh, the Strong game is a very important game to this program. Why don't you explain what it means to that game to be here and what it does for the program? Well, I think it shows the guys that you know, we're a little sore, a little banged up, that we're still very blessed to have the opportunity to go out there and play, and some of these kids don't have the opportunities that they do, and they should come to blessings for that. And we're, we're very proud to be associated with the game where um, I've heard the Shriners say this unit, this game has given more kids the opportunity to have operation at like 120 or some than any other 22 units in the Midwest, and uh, we're very proud to be associated with that. Last week you guys played a real tough game in Mankato, um, but played real well. Imagine it was a little, a little good, a little bad. How do you guys look back on a game? Well, uh, defensively we just got to eliminate all our mental errors. and uh, We had a lot of busts that game, and it just wasn't one play here or there why we lost the game. It was just a lot of, just a lot of mental errors we made. But we did out-physical Mankato. I believe we should have won that game. Offense played great. Defense should have, you know, we should have just did our job and just held them off. How do you guys get motivated this week after a game like that? I imagine it was a tough one. Top loss to take, but you got Winona coming in, which is a big game. How do you yeah. guys get motivated for that? Well, we just got to put it in the past, and, uh, you know, it was a big game, but uh, we just can't dwell on it. Just like every play, if you make a bad play, you just got to suck it up and go back out there and just play. And how big is it when you guys play Winona State? Is that, are they your biggest rival? Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much our biggest rival. They're, uh, they're a pretty good team, but we're way more physical, just, just better defensively, offensively. We're gonna, we should win this game. What are you guys preparing for on defense? What are, the off what are their offense going to throw at you? Uh, they're going to run a lot of just uh, inside, outside zone play action boots. They're gonna they got this little package with twins weak wing they're gonna run. But uh we schemed up pretty good against this week. Our coach's got a, a lot of good schemes. As defense how do you guys feel where you're at right now? Do you guys like where you're at? Oh yeah we like where we're at. But uh like I said we just gotta eliminate all the mental errors. You guys played a heck of a game in Mankato last week. Imagine it was a uh, good how you played but tough to take the result. Kinda how are you guys feeling after last week? You know, we feel good going. We felt good going in. Thought we had a good chance of winning. We had them 31-21 with six minutes left in the fourth quarter. We just let out on them and let them come back. The offensive line seems to be playing real well early here on in the season. Um, give your fans out there a feel how things, how the offensive line is getting things done here through the early part of the season. Yeah, we, we're doing well actually. You know, we are a real young group. I don't even think we have anybody that's older than a sophomore. So we are just. Taking it game by game, getting better. What are you guys preparing for? What are, they, what are their defense going to throw at you? Um, you know, we're getting ready. We're looking at their four threes and their, their four twos. And this, they, they run pretty much sort of sort of the same defense as Mankato, so we're already kind of prepared for anything they can throw at us. You know, our coaches are getting us ready for anything, you know. So we're going to go out there and give it to them. Excited to be back and play at home this week? Yeah, very excited. Got a little homesick in Mankato. Can't wait to play back home. Our last home game, we blew out Minot. Hope to do the same to Winona.